Modern e-bikes have developed to the point where it's really hard to tell whether you're looking at an assisted bike or not. Just take this regular Sculptura Endurance and this e-Sculptura for example. This bike here actually has a 250 watt hour battery and an electric motor with 40 newton millimeters of torque to help you up the hills, but there really isn't much to give it away. That's because on selected e-bikes in our range, namely the e Silex gravel bike, the e Sculptura road bike and e-Speeder urban fitness bike, we use the innovative Marla Smile Bike Systems X35 drive system rather than the mid-mount mode systems you might be more familiar with. In this video, I'm going to run through how it differs, what some of the advantages are, and also how to operate the system. If you've never heard of Marla drive systems before, then you might well be surprised to know that the Marla Group is a serious engineering powerhouse, with their products fitted in at least every second car worldwide, including the likes of BMW, Porsche, Tesla and Mercedes, making everything from engine pistons to oil and water pumps. They have experience in a staggering number of industries, including supplying parts for the Ferrari Formula One team. So while they might be newer to the e-bike market than some, their engineering credentials are beyond reproach. They also back up the X35 system with a 24 month warranty in the EU that includes guaranteeing that the battery will still have 70% of the original capacity after 500 charge cycles. The first thing you might notice is that this isn't a mid-mounted motor, unlike the Shimano systems we fit to a lot of our e-bikes. Instead, the electric motor is actually mounted inside the rear hub and the battery is fixed inside the down tube. That's got several advantages for the bikes we use this system on. First is that it allows for a sleek and normal looking bike that uses conventional cranks and bottom bracket, even allowing the use of multiple chain rings at the front of the bike. Secondly, the assistance is actually delivered at the hub itself, with smart sensors that detect when you're pedaling and feed in power accordingly. That puts much less force through the bike's drivetrain, so you get a much longer lifespan from chains, rings and cassettes. The really big advantage of this system is that it doesn't add in much drag above that of a normal unassisted bike, something that isn't the case on a mid-mount motor system, as anyone that's run out of battery and had to pedal one home will attest. This means the bike basically behaves normally when you're pedaling at speeds above the 25 km an hour assistance speed limit, allowing you to make swift, fun progress up, along or down. Of course, there is a penalty for this slim down system, and that's that it's down on outright power and battery capacity. The torque output of 40 newton meters is about half of what you'd expect from a mid-mount motor, and the internal battery's capacity of 250 watt hours is around, around a half to a third of that fitted to our mid-mount bikes. While down on outright power and battery capacity, the lack of drag from the motor, the slim profile and low overall weight makes it perfectly suited to sporty bikes like this e or as well as our e Silex and e-Speeder, where you're only really relying on the drive unit to help you go up the steeper gradients. We like to characterize riding our Marla equipped bikes as being just like riding a normal bike, just with a really strong tailwind that helps you up the climbs. You can also boost the range by fitting a 208 watt hour external battery, something all of our Marla equipped bikes are compatible with. The eagle eyed amongst you may have noticed there's no display units on this bike. The reason for this is that Marla figures that most of us carry a powerful computer and GPS around with us all the time, our smartphone, and they've developed a wide ranging app that works as a cycle computer with mapping, control unit for the bike, and also has numerous other features. It's even possible to track your bike when you're not with it. It'll tell you the last position it was switched on, plus the date and battery levels. There are actually a whole host of other smart features on the system too, with sensors collecting data that in can turn suggest pretentious maintenance, or give fast and accurate diagnosis of any issues. The app itself is very powerful and something we'll cover fully in another video, but it's possible to control the bike and read battery levels without it, thanks to this little iWatt controller here. It's much, much more than just an on or off switch, although it does do that too. When you power the bike up, it will tell you the state of the battery by changing the colour of the LED surround here, which should give you a rough idea of the range you'll get. White means that you've got more than 75% of your battery less. Green means that you've got less than 75, but more than 50% left. Orange means less than 50% and more than 25%. Red means less than 25%. A slow flashing red light means less than 15% and a fast red flashing light means less than 10%, so uh, definitely time to go and get a charge. Of course, the iWalk doesn't display any more detailed range information than that, so for the actual range estimate in kilometres or miles, 
you will need to connect your phone, though this is easily done. The iWalk will flash blue to tell you that you have a Bluetooth wireless connection and it's now active. The iWalk One controller also lets you see and change the support level. Once powered up, you need to give the button another press and it'll then start flashing. The colour it flashes will tell you the support level. White means that the system is switched on, but there's no assistance. A green light means that there's a low assistance level. Orange means that you're getting the middle assistance level. Red gives you the highest assistance level, but obviously the shortest range. You change the assistance setting by cycling through these modes until you've selected the one we want. We can actually tune the way the assistant comes in specifically to the bike we're using it on, which is why all of our three Marla bikes have very different assistance maps, which results in a very different ride feel between them all to suit their individual needs. Anyway, I hope this has explained just what the Marla Smart Bike Systems X35 drive unit is and why we choose to use it on the bikes we do. If you'd like to know more about those bikes, then check our playlist here, which contains information about our Marla equipped bikes, as well as the rest of our e-bike range. If you'd like to find out any more information, such as pricing and availabilities, then make sure you get in touch with your national distributor by following the link below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.